Okay, so the question I want to address here is when will the war in Ukraine end? And I think anybody who can tell you that definitively is lying to you. But I can tell you this, Putin will not stop. Now, how do I know that? Well, I've been paying attention. I've been doing daily videos about what's going on on the ground in Ukraine every day uh, for the last few months. I wrote an ebook on Zelensky that covers the first, this is the ebook, and it covers the first about five, six months. And somewhere along the way, I switched to doing daily videos. I just covered his latest speech and I covered his first speech. And in his first speech, what we found was that he said this, this is his February 24 speech, his rationale for invading Ukraine. He said this, I'm referring to the eastward expansion of NATO, which is moving its military infrastructure even closer to the Russian border. And then he said, as a result, the old treaties and agreements are no longer effective. And then he said this, the country was not prepared to counter the invasion by Nazi Germany, which attacked our motherland on June 22, 1941. The attempt to appease an aggressor ahead of the great patriotic war proved to be mistake, a mistake, and we will not make this mistake a second time. We have no right to do so. so here's the NATO border. Now, here's in dark blue is all NATO countries, uh, the original NATO countries. And then in the next shade of blue, here is uh, Germany, and here is uh, Spain, and here's Turkey and Greece. That's the next wave of uh, NATO expansion. And the lighter it goes, the, the further the wave. In fact, Finland and uh, Sweden, Finland and Sweden are uh, actually now NATO members, which happened as an effect of the invasion of Ukraine. And so what what Putin actually was saying that he wanted to do was he wanted to create a buffer state between Russia, this is Russia, and uh, the West, NATO, right? So there's a buffer state needed. Now, Ukraine would be a buffer state. Belarus here is a buffer state. And so Ukraine can't turn blue. That's his thinking. Now, if Ukraine can't turn blue, he's invaded and he was going to topple the country. And that would have put his Russian border all the way, even not, he wouldn't have made, annexed all Ukraine and made it Russian, but essentially a satellite of Russia, just like Belarus. And that would have put the border all the way out to here. As it is, he grabbed this land right here. So what happened? He grabbed up Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, and Herzon, and he already controlled Crimea. And here's his celebration, where he's celebrating with the leaders of these regions. What's happened is he's grabbed these, but he's made it part of Russia. So the Russian border is still just pushed out a little bit. He still needs a buffer state. Now, what will probably happen is he has this as a buffer state, but he wants this and maybe some of this as more of a buffer state that is not Russia proper in order to create a extra buffer between him and the West, between him and NATO. So let's just take Putin at his word. I'm not going to argue that this is his actual reason. I think this was a pretext. I think he wants to expand the Russian empire one way or another, but let's say it is what it is. Take him at his word, okay? I think he wants to push at least as far as the, the Nipper River, okay, in order to create, now here he already controls this land, but he wants to, again, control more to create a buffer between there and Russia itself. Nothing in this man's character, a guy that's running around trying to, you know, I'm on horseback, shirtless, or look at me, I'm tough. Nothing in this man's character makes me think that he's going to stop. Everything that I know about him tells me he will not. This guy compares himself to Tsar Peter, okay? Now, uh, Tsar Peter the Great was known uh, for his greatness because he conquered other territories. In a speech a number of months ago, he said he seized nothing. He reclaimed it. It seems to, it has fallen to us, too, to reclaim and strengthen. And what's he talking about reclaiming? It's this land, Novorossia, New Russia, which was seized by Catherine the Great. So I think that's what he wants to do. He wants to make it uh, an outpost of the empire, an area that's a buffer between himself and the West. So when's it going to stop? When Putin quits. But I see nothing in this man's character that's going to cause it to stop. But I do see something in this man's character that will cause it to stop. Zelensky said that the war will be won on the battlefield. Peace negotiations will be made on the battlefield because the parchment barriers have failed. And when Putin is forced to unconditionally surrender, the war will be over.